this is going to be a little bit of everything. I'm going to try to cut some grass, make me a pathway back to the barn. I don't know how successful that's going to be, but I'm going to try. And there will be a burn pile, and there will be some woodworking, and uh, there will be some battery changing and some cleaning up, and just sort of a general day. And I can almost not see my driveway from all the vegetation that's uh, taking place there. Now I'm telling you, uh, six weeks ago, more or less, that was completely scraped by uh, one of those sort of sub sub diving things, and there was no vegetation there at all. But it's that it's that time of year. But um, I don't know. I can't spray anything. It's way too wet. So the pond's just overflowing. So let's uh, go out there and and uh, burn pile and uh, see if I can. <laughs> Do something. My, I'm tired of my feet being wet every time I go out there. So I can't walk that way anymore because it's too wet. I'm, I have to walk this way, and that's all mud. So you got you got to take your choice. There's too much trouble about burning this stuff. Wind's coming from the north, so I think we'll be okay. I don't think I'm gonna light them bells on fire or nothing. I never use accelerants. You know, I always start on the windy side of the hill. Ooh, somebody's out there getting it. Well, that may not have taken. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. Alright, I think that's going to go. We'll take a look at it in a minute. Squish, squish. That's, that's going to be just fine, I think. Uh, the wind's going to change and blow the smoke right into barn. <laughs> Always that way, isn't it? You look at it changing, blowing right at me. That gummit. Okay, enough of the burn pile. Let's do something else. Okay, let's change out this bulb here. Because this one was the one that looked dim in the last video. I had the extra one. Okay, there you go. All done. Oh, stop that. All right, we'll turn them on in a minute. I'm going to take the battery out of the Healy. Because that's a relatively new marine battery. And I'm just going to put her in, in Daphne here. I don't use the Healy as much as I do Daphne, so we're going to change them around. I'm going to test that battery too. It's probably bad. Been there a long time. and I don't think that had anything to do with my starter uh, problem because I just, I just don't. Just, the starter just sounded funny. I found this piece of plywood, and that looks like that's going to be a future sun visors right there. So we'll see how that goes. I don't feel right about doing that right now because I haven't cleaned Daphne up inside and finished her out. So let's get her cleaned up, get the tools back where they belong. And uh, there's my favorite tape measure. And I didn't change, I haven't done that much since last we met. But uh, anyway, paid a lot for that thing. I'm gonna use it. Let's start on this side. And get the stuff I can reach. And we're going to take her up today. I think I got this uh, fuel pump. This fuel pump was uh, leaking at this fitting. So I put a, a bunch of yellow tape on it more. And then I just JB welded it. It's only a couple of pounds of pressure. So we're going to uh, put that right there. Because we're going to put that back in line. I want two, two pumps in one. Every now and then you get lucky. So uh, this is a relatively new battery. There was a video on it not long ago. I got the one out of DAF over there, and she's over there charging. Uh, like I said, I think that one's going to test bad. So when I raised up the boot lid here, that little wolf of gasoline, not a good combination, but it's just very minor. So uh, we're going to leave this open from now on. Make sure it stays aired out. So anyway, this is where the batteries came here. So let's get this out of here. 
and move it over to there and put the charger on it. But uh, I don't think I really need to, but I think I will. Boy, it's going to be nice. Boy, I'm spoofing up the old girl. We're going to get some of this stuff and spray up in here and uh, rust treat this. Just seems like the thing to do. And then there's that thing. I might could have run that wire through here somehow to get to this dome light, but it's done now. Quit worrying about it. There, oh, there's a grab bar. That's what was over here where that guy put all this Mercedes stuff in here. It's Mercedes armrest. And I think these are out of an old 240D or something. These seats, maybe, I don't know. So we'll uh, we'll see about that. When I get that sun visor off, I'll spray some down and look at it leaking down. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with it hitting uh, that though. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. I don't think I want WD-40 on my, my new Icon blade here. <laughs> uh oh. Now, the other thing, too, I, that's kind of a good thing to remind me because I wanted to get all the crud off of this blade because when I drill the holes for the lamps, see, it got some metal on it. Well, let's make sure that's completely clear. Okay. Well, I think that's just uh, going to be okay. It makes me come out here and clean the glass. Okay. Yeah, that was on my list of particulars was to to uh, clean the metal off here. The metal shavings from the drill stuff. Boy, that, that does pretty good. Okay. All right. This battery is about an inch taller. I didn't take that into consideration. So let's see if I can get the bonnet closed and see how close the, the uh, top of the bonnet comes to that thing. I'm going to do this real gentle-like, but this is a noise alert here. Ooh, windy. Okay, I can see through the grill a little bit. It looks like I'm okay. Now, if I was further back, that might be good. Sometimes you can use your camera as a tool more than just making YouTube videos. So let me see what that looked like. I think I'm gonna put a sock on top of that or something. Get that arcing out. So I got these old inner tubes, so I cut some off because I kind of noticed that there wasn't a really good buffer. I think I kind of remember that. I think I had a piece of foam back there before. But inner tubes better. I'll show you what I did. I had these gigantic pull ties that were left over from something in packing, some, something I remember barely what it was. But So I just uh, got pull ties and pull tied it down. I'm going to stuff that piece of rubber back there. And uh, as a buffer, see this bar here? See, it kind of runs across the back. And I'm going to kind of just push it right there. Okay, and I got another piece of rubber that I'm going to put across here too, just to kind of make double dog sure I might just double this one and do that all right well let's hook this thing up so this is basically it and uh, I'll show you what it looks like in a second okay uh, where are my keys I think I hope they're in the tractor so we got this going here I think it's just fine I just tuck that piece of rubber underneath that pull tie and I think that'll be good enough and I feel okay with all that she's held down good and tight Wow, can't wait to see what the new starter does with that thing. So the dash is all back together. The speedometer's hooked up. I got the new light bulb up there. I got the new battery hooked in. So let's take a look and see if that evened it up. If not, I'm not gonna spend any more money on it, so. Yeah, that looks more even. Yeah, I think that's better. So that middle one looks a little bit better. Yeah, I give I give that a thumbs up. It's been a while, but it's all charged up now. I got the green light. Let's see what this old AGM is gonna tell me. Uh, oh, 925 cold cranking amps at zero at 32. 
Okay, so there's your positively right there. Uh, don't confuse that with the charger. All right, battery analyzer. 13.17, that's not terrible. Uh, let's see, well, it gives you a lot of spread, don't it? We're gonna go to 900. Battery test. Out of vehicle. AGM. Cold cranking amps. This, oh, this is kind of annoying. It goes too fast. Come on, go. Let's, let's go all the way. To, let's just go to 900. Okay. It don't do nothing, and then it takes off. Okay, enter. Please wait. Let's see what we get out of it. Above zero, generally. Okay. Replace battery. Well, 559 ought to be okay. Uh... 1310. I think I don't think I'm going to worry about replacing this one because that's just going to be in the Healy and disconnected most of the time. Gosh, I love these little grabby things. Those are neat. Those are neat with the little Tyrannosaurus teeth in them. Okay, uh, that'll be fine. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. So let's remember to unplug this. Yeah, I do have car washing supplies and I do wash them occasionally but it's just hardly worth it with a about a, what is it about an 800 foot dirt driveway <laughs> so anyway okay what we're gonna do now we're gonna make sun visors now uh, first of all let's take i think that's a piece of cedar i'll hold on to that okay and uh we'll cut we'll cut all this stuff off and I got my rough measurements that I had on my other video. All right. So we're going for 17 and a half, maybe six and a half. Let's just, six is okay. I think I don't want to make them too big. I don't want to block the scenery. 17 and a half, six and a quarter. Okay? Fine. Ooh, pretty nasty stuff there. Ugh, glad to get rid of that stuff. You gotta pick these up because when you step on them, it's gonna be big. Ugh. So over the years, I have used the nylon pull ties, and they they okay, but they break. Uh, over and right when and when they do, uh, you're kind of in trouble because the thing the sun visor keeps creeping down. So here's the overall. It's gonna. Uh, match that so this is gonna be exciting so uh, let's uh, drill some holes and uh, this has to kind of spin on the stainless steel ties so uh, let's just make our marks and we got to be careful to get enough in there to where it doesn't uh, we need we need the holes to kind of be down for a couple of reasons one is so these can uh, so the heads of these will grab properly. And the other is you just don't you just want some body there. I don't know. I don't know who else is ever gonna do this, but somebody might. I mean, it's cheap and easy. And uh, I got my shellac ready to go. Where's my shellac? There it is. So I'm gonna uh, I love shellac. And it just is so it's so clean and non-toxic and dries quickly. So let's put this on there. And she'll like it and give it a few minutes and we'll mount it up and see how it does. Well, the steel pull ties don't work worth a tiddly boo. I had some nylon ones, but they're small, so we're just gonna uh, see what this looks like and kind of prove concept. It just didn't that just don't work. It just not it's just not working the way that it did before. So uh, we'll just have to deal with that. And we will. But I, I, I like it. Okay, so there it is. And they got the little curvature of the earth there. And uh, see, I mean, it's okay. So when you go up, it'll it'll lock into place. So I'm, I'm okay with it generally. Uh, 
but it's just uh, it's just not going to work with the stainless steel ones. But I wish that was true. So I'm out of the 3 16 standard pull ties, so I'm just gonna have to get some more. Okay, well that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be all I'm gonna do today. I feel like I've done enough it's, and uh, done some stuff in between. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks for spending some time with me and all that stuff, and we'll uh, we'll do something tomorrow. No, we won't do something tomorrow. We'll do something day after tomorrow because I uh, I gotta take this thing around and power wash. Uh, underneath the wheels and do the king pins. I'm not gonna take the. I'm not gonna take her up today and do anything underneath. I'm gonna do everything at the same time. I don't have a starter yet, so I might as well just do it all at one time. So make sure battery's disconnected. All right, talk to you next time. Bye now.